Hey everyone, Akansky here. Uh, in this video, I have a little illusion trick um, that I made. Uh, basically, you have uh, one place or one world, and you walk through here, and you end up in another. And if I walk back, I go back to where I started, and I can walk around and do the same thing the other way. And using the same exact trick on this building I have here, I can walk up a few uh, flights of stairs and end up at the top. And I can walk back down. And I'm at the bottom. All right, so let's have a look at how it works. Um, I have this world right here with this building. And in this building, I just have two doorways. And I have the centerpiece where the back center of this wall makes a straight line uh, with this part, or with this point and this point. That way, when you put your camera when you put your camera here, you can't see um, both doorways at the same time. One kind of just pops in right as the other um, comes into view. So as soon as this one comes into view, that one goes away. And I have the same building with all its parts set to cast shadow off because the shadows bake differently on the same building, even if they're rotated the same way. Um, so I turn cast shadow off so that you don't see a shadow change when you uh, teleport. And then I have the same building. So this is building one and here's building two. And this is just above this. So if you're here and you look up, you can actually see um, the other base plate. And in each building, I have two doors, two door parts which I will highlight. So on the right we have door A and on the left we have door B. And on the other building we have door C on the right and door D on the left. And each building has a center as well. So a centerpiece uh, which marks the center of the hallway. Now the idea is to every time you touch a door, that becomes your state. So in my script, um, I have a part intersects point helper function to let me know um, when a part or when a point is inside of a part and I just look at um, the position of the root and see if it's inside of a building. I could also use touched on each one of these parts, but um, since I wanted to use heartbeat and just check every frame and I thought this would also be a little bit more consistent I just thought this would be better so that's what I did and it works very well so I check to see if you ever are inside of a door and then whatever door you're in that becomes your state so if you're inside of a your state becomes a and there and that way I know which is the door that you last touched and the idea is if you touch a and then your camera crosses the center this actually isn't a uh, let's go to building one. If you touch A and you cross the center with your camera, you'll be teleported to the second doorway uh, on the other building, which would be D. So if you cross through A, you'll go to D. Um, if you cross through D, you'll go to A. And then B to C and C to B. And that's exactly what this script does. Uh, if your state is equal to A or equal to B, then we can say that you last touched uh, building one. And then if you, if your camera is in the center, camera's in the center, and then we want to see uh, what your um, position is on the Z axis. 
if I go ahead and click this and click move, you see the blue arrow is a Z axis. So I want to see uh, what's the position on the Z axis of the camera relative to this center part, this green part right here. So I figured it out that and I call it DZ. That's just the center C frame to object space of the camera C frame. So this is a camera um, relative to the center. And then I grab its position and grab the Z. So this is um, Z axis position relative or of camera relative to center. And then if we're A, then we're waiting for this to be uh, less than zero, which I called not greater than zero, but that's fine. Um, and then set your state to D and then teleport you to building two. Otherwise, if it was B and now it's greater than zero, uh, change the state from B to C. So A to D and B to C. And we have um, this teleport building function. I have one for teleporting you from building two to one. And then the same thing for uh, teleporting you from building two to one or from one to two, sorry. So this one teleports you from two to one. It gets your object C frame of your root gets your root C frame in object space to the building two and then moves you to building one um, with that object C frame. So you become you become the same relative C frame that you were to two. Now you're that same C frame to one. And then we do the same thing with your camera. Um, I think this helps a little bit with helping it be seamless so that the camera doesn't jitter when you cross over. And then the same thing, but backwards for teleport building two. And that's really about it. This um, other else if is just the same thing as this one, but waiting for when you're in building two, when your cam is in the center of building two and your Z in that one, and then getting from C to B and getting from D to A. And it works pretty well. It's not completely uh, seamless. There is a little frame drop when you cross over that I can feel. You might not see it in the video because the video is in 30 frames per second. But I definitely do feel a little bit of a, a very small um, stutter when I cross over. But other than that, um, I cross over here over here works the same way I actually don't experience the frame frame drop at all uh, when I look this way but as soon as I start looking at the objects over here there's sort of a frame drop so it might be um, lag with that anyway if we go ahead and look at the other project that I have this is the same thing literally the same exact script the only thing I changed was this this less than sign, I change it from a greater than to a less than sign because I'm moving from from one way to another instead of it's it's the opposite. I'm going from left to right instead of right to left or something like that. Uh, it must be because of the way I rotated this when I put it in. But anyway, this one has door A right here. So this is door A, this is door B. And this is the center. And then we have the same thing over at the top of the building. Door C, door D. This is C, this is D. And here's the center uh, for the top of the building. And when I play it, touch this part to let it know where I am. I hit this part. As soon as I hit this part, it teleports me to um, the top of the building. And then I just have to climb up another flight of stairs and I'm at the top of the building. And I can do the same thing on the way back down. And I'm on the first floor. So yeah, that's how that works. Um, both project files 
with the script and everything and everything set up like this will be uh, in the description for you to download and uh, hope you learned something new. Uh, yeah, take care.